Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, again, you know, uh, we went over, I was gone for a couple of weeks uh, while my wife was recovering. She's in the hospital, um, had appendicitis, but we're going to be back with a show every day. And we're going to have a fun show, an old topic uh, that I'm, I'm bringing back up again, Keith Thurman. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, please follow 3D Boxing, uh, all forms of social media. Also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So uh, please uh, subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. That's on YouTube. All right, let's get into quick hits today. Keith Thurman. Um, still running in his mouth. Um and still not fighting. Um, he had some words. He wasn't impressed with Danny Garcia's performance, which I was. I was impressed with Danny Garcia. Um, Keith Thurman apparently was not. Um, the clear one in it turns to 34. We're going to get into Keith Thurman. Says, uh, Danny Garcia can never pass this test. I beat that boy with bone spurs. Uh, he wanted to say, I'm too pretty. I'm too blessed. Danny Garcia can never pass the Keith Thurman, Thurman test. Uh, he told Boxing Scene. Um, Said, um, look, man, my IQ is even higher. His feet are slow like a flat tire. Uh, be careful what you wish for, you silly Philly boy. This is not a game. It's not Street Fighter, but I will still hit you with that yoga fire. Okay, Keith Thurman says weird things sometimes. Um, look, <laughs> Keith Thurman, I have not seen anyone piss away the prime of their career like Keith Thurman did. Not a fighter with with the with the talent and skills of Keith Thurman. I, I've criticized Thurman for faking injuries, for ducking fights. I've never ever questioned his skills. He's an A plus fighter. He's an A plus plus fighter. He is a phenomenal athlete, a phenomenal fighter. Um, if you look at what he did from 2012 to 2017 on his way up, right? So that's you know uh, 24, 20. How old is he? He's 33 now. He'll be 34. Um, just l- look at this on his way up. All right. Carlos Quintana, who beat Paul Williams. John Zavek, Diego Chavez, Jose Soto Carras, Julio Diaz. This is all in his early 20s. Uh, then, he, you know, Leonard Brundu, Robert Guerrero, Luis Colazzo, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. Then all the layoffs come, right? And then he still looks good. He still has a lot, you know, but that's when things really changed. That's when things really changed. Uh, but you just that right there, he's a borderline Hall of Famer. Garcia, Porta, Colazzo. That's Guerrero. That's four world champions in a row. Bundu was 31 at the time. You know, good fighter. Julio Diaz, really good fighter. Caras, really good fighter. Um, Diego Chavez, really good fighter. Jan Zavik, really good fighter. Carlos Quintana, former world champion. I mean, he, he was putting this streak together where he was going to be in the mix as you know the, the best welterweight, one of the best fighters. He is where he could have been. He was on the path to being where Crawford and Spence are. You know, I, I always thought, you know, going back 2017, 2018, Thurman would be too quick for Spence. He would beat Spence. Spence would bully Crawford. You know, Spence would beat Crawford, and Crawford would just outbox Thurman. You know, so I never really I, I thought there was one was necessarily better than the other, right? I, I just kind of thought, it, you know, stylistically that would be problems, right? And they could all beat each other. And on, on given on certain given nights, you know, one guy may win and, you know, one decision may go one way, it may go the other way. But they were all in that conversation together. I don't think one was necessarily better or worse than any of the other. 
Um, it was just stylistically they were different. Keith Thurman had the legs and and the power. Uh, you know, really smart fighter too. You know, he never used his jab enough. But I've never, you know, from 2017 when he beat Danny Garcia, you have middle of your pound for pound. It's probably five, six, seven, somewhere around there. Okay, takes two years off. Fights Jose Lopez, comes back, fights Pacquiao six months later. Takes almost three more years off, two and a half more years off, fights Barrios. Takes care of Barrios. I, I thought looked good doing so. I, other people disagree. I, I I thought he won, you know, anywhere from eight to 11 rounds, right? Like, you know, anywhere from 116 to 112 to 119, 109, I thought were reasonable scorecards. Uh, he clearly beat Barrios, a good fighter. Um. You know, so I, and then you know that fight was six months ago already. You know, go, you know, it was, it was six months ago. There's, I mean, he's maybe possibly has a rumored fight in October, but who knows? It's Keith Thurman. You know, so you go back from 2017, right? So that's five and a half years ago. He's fought three times in the absolute prime of his career after the Garcia fight. He's 27 years old, 28 years old, prime of his career. He's got wins over Lopez and Barrios and lost to Pacquiao. Look, I, I got to speak to Keith Thurman in depth, talk to him half hour, 40 minutes once um, when he was doing commentary for uh, an Ugas fight on, on, on Fox Sports. Really intriguing guy. One of the best conversations I've had, not just, you know, boxing conversations. We, we, we talked about healthy living, healthy eating, modern medicine, um, investments, stock market, really interesting, intelligent guy. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I don't dislike Keith Thurman is my point. I, I don't dislike him. I, I think he's a good dude. I've just never seen anyone piss away the prime of their career like this. I mean, just piss it away. In the absolute, the hand injury, I, I've written articles on this. You can go back, you can pull it up. There's look, a hand injury uh, and, and lose bone spurs in your elbow, not things that take you out of the ring for two years. You know, he, when, when he, when Danny Garcia came up on 140, he told Danny Garcia, I'd love to introduce you to the weight class. When Terrence Crawford came up from 140, what did he say? What did he say? He said he hasn't earned a chance to fight Keith Thurman. Oh, okay. Then he fights Barrios coming up from 140. I mean, nothing he says is consistent, right? And I don't dislike him. I just don't understand why he did this. He had the talent to be a generational talent, a generational welterweight. You know, the best welterweight since Mayweather. He, he had the talent and the ability to do that, and he's done nothing with it. And now all he does is talk, right? He fights once every three years. Every two, three years he fights. That's it. But he, but he's still talking. Like I beat Keith, I beat Danny Garcia five and a half years ago. Who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. No one's impressed by that anymore. It's impressive when you did it. And now all, all Keith Thurman can do is play. Remember when? Remember when I did this? Yeah. You, you should still be in your prime. You should still be fighting. But you don't fight anymore. It's really unique. What he's done with his career, it seems like a guy that he likes boxing, right? It just doesn't seem to have the heart for it. I, I don't know what it is. But whenever he fights, he gives it 100%. I, 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 this is such a weird thing with Keith. Get back in the ring, Keith, right? Like, I mean, you belong in the ring. You're a fighter in your prime. You, you didn't say you retired, right? You're just not fighting. I, I've not seen a guy with that much talent just give his whole prime of his career away. Is his whole prime of his career, 28 to 32. He fought Jose Cito Lopez, Pacquiao he lost, and beat Barrios. And this is a guy that could have been a first ballot legendary welterweight, one of the great welterweights of his, the, you know, one of, one of the best welterweights of all time, maybe. He had the talent and the ability. And he was on a path. He was on a tear up until 2017. 2017 is five years ago. Five and a half years ago he fought Danny Garcia. Five and a half years ago. And he's really done nothing since. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, Keith Thurman is now relegated to playing Remember When at 33 years old. Anyone see an issue with that? 
33 years old. And he said, remember what I did five years ago? Well, what are you doing now? Well, why aren't you fighting now? You're a year older than Errol Spence. You say same age as Terrence Crawford. They're still fighting. We're going to get into Crawford Spence, so we're going to another episode of that. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, it is August 1st. It's August 1st already, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.